everybody today we are doing monitoring dashboards in obm and uh, this is quite an interesting thing to do so let me show you what i mean uh monitoring dashboard is a piece that gathers uh basically events from uh, two sources either money either uh, filters or uh, topology and so far i have uh, had those servers running in the main uh, application but now since i'm building a new application that's supposed to support up to eight parallel demo users i just cloned the, uh, the original one and i'll just show you how uh, the cloning is done so if you have a, a uh, dashboard that's already exist you click on the duplicate button and you just need to change the names and a little bit of filters and I'm going to create the last one, so you don't need to wait for all of them to be created. And then we're going to create a completely new one that would incorporate those eight dashboards, right? So uh, what I did here, I changed the filter on a widget, on a history widget. Uh, and it's basically based on a filter by view. So I have a separate view for per each server that I want to uh, display. And I'm using the view filter. If in case I would be using event filter, if I would need to eliminate several events from for some reason, then of course i would be adding it so it can be either or or both and i'm just having the event filter uh, sent uh, view filter set on aos web shop uh, uh, 8 and it's gonna run for the last 10 minutes and the reason that we run it for 10 minutes although in production i would prefer to run for one hour or maybe more is because uh well we need to get things moving on a screen in a demo Right, so my users are showing a demo of this product to a customer, and, uh, and the situation there is a little bit different. Everything needs to be more animated in order to cram more content into less time, right? So uh, here's the result. I have eight of those small uh, personalized kind of or uh, dedicated uh, monitoring dashboards, but they are useless at the moment because they require a dashboard that would link to them so what we can do, we can create an entirely new dashboard, which would have the capability of drilling down into every one of those in a dedicated manner. And then we're going to test it. So let me show you how what I mean uh, on, an, on an older one. So this is an older one that we're not going to replicate. But as you see, there is like a little bit checkbox over here on the status of uh, web server number one. So when you click on it, it expands into a dedicated monitoring dashboard. And since it's based on HTML5, also, also it shrinks and expands according to the web page size. So don't mind the visuals, are they pleasing you or not, because it's going to be shown in a much smaller area where it would make more sense. Okay, so we need to create a dashboard that would link to all of the eight uh, dashboards that we created so far. And this is the main crux of the video, right? So we're going to say AOS shop three tier um th sorry three tier cluster md and i'm saying md because later i'm going to use the information that i uh use in this dashboard in a uh, completely different product but that's a topic for another video right so here i Click, click on plus and it allows me to select a few widgets so i'm going to gather first of all history for the whole thing so i'm going to select a view that's called aos shop uh, demo master i believe and it's gonna have a drill down it doesn't have any drill down but uh, the label is going to be uh, all event history. Okay, um, cluster event. Oh, come on. Cluster event history. Okay, give it a title that explains what this widget is doing. Okay. And I'm going to actually have it span over the whole thing over here, the whole screen. Okay, no space. Now, in addition, I'm going to have a pie and I'm going to say cluster event summary. Okay, and I'm going to select the same view. It's going to be AOS shop, uh, sorry, AOS shop demo 
master. I'm going to say add, and now I need to actually uh, move it a little bit uh, further up to the back and resize this one a little bit like this, and this one should be aligned to uh, to it. In a, in a size. So I'm going to create, I just want to see it in a little bit of smaller version. So this is how it looks like at the moment, more or less. So not very pretty, but it does what we need. All right. So now uh, let's do the dedicated dashboards. So uh, I'm going to create a, a widget per server that exists in the environment in the cluster, and I'm going to create a filter that would show the details only of the events of this filter. So I have several options. For example, having just a simple status, which would summarize everything, or I can have an overview per server, or for example, a stack, which shows the distribution, but it also has a legend that we don't want to see, right? And, or I can also create a group which would group all of them. And I'm actually, I'm going to use this group. I'm going to say AOS cluster uh, web servers. And why am I using uh, the group widget? Because I want to uh, make it expand and contract with the accordance of its relative size on the screen, right? So that's a display issue. Okay. And here I'll have eight pies, right? So that's going to be uh, in. AOS web, uh, uh, AOS shop, sorry, AOS shop, web one, and then in view filter, it's going to show AOS shop web one. Okay, and uh, the, we're immediately we're going to select the drill down dashboard. It's one of the dashboards that we saw earlier, right? And uh, it should be somewhere over here. Yes, this one. So we click on add. And uh, now we, uh, we need to duplicate it uh, several more times and just change the filters and the names, right? Um, but I need to rename this one because uh, I want to say shop cluster event summary. Even, you know what, AOS shop. Let's call it AOS shop. AOS shop um, cluster event summary. So we let's make it um, um, AOS shop cluster event history. AOS shop cluster event history. There we go. AOS shop cluster web servers. Uh, AOS shop cluster web servers. Okay, now we are ready to replicate. So we are going to have four in a row, right? So there is the duplication and I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to modify it right of the bed over here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to paste it once more and then paste it once more. And now uh, we will actually move it down here somehow. If it's even possible, is it possible? Uh, I guess it's not possible. So we need to replicate the whole thing. So I'm going to delete it. Yes. And I'm going to, uh, well, those are, are going to be distributed. So I'm going to replicate this thing once more. And I'm going to uh, paste it general and my guess is that it, that it went down okay fantastic so let's uh, before we start the filtering let's see how it looks like in the general view okay so uh, we don't have the pies because there are no events sent for those servers yet but uh, they provide this capability of a drill down that we're going to use for every one of those so this would be my main cluster i just need to tidy it up and I can do it off screen. And where is it used? So uh, when you build your workspace in OBM, 
right? Uh, a good way for uh, every operator of uh, any application is to start with a monitoring dashboard before they decide to drill in, right? So if you look at a list of events in a table, it, it takes time to make sense of anything that you see over here. Right, it's just a lot of things happening, and you need to see what, which one is important and what, and how many of them. But if you observe it in a dashboard like this one, then uh, you can immediately notice that there is like a whole application event, but it's distributed to specific servers, and the amount is abnormal or normal. The event history would probably indicate something that you would really like to know. Right, so this is our approach towards the monitoring dashboard that we built. We're going to have a dashboard that shows an overall status of the cluster like here in the right side. And it's going to show an, a dedicated status of for every one of those servers. And now we see, actually, we, I, can, I think I can pop it out. No, I cannot pop it out to see it in a smaller space. And we see that the amount of space taken by the top widgets needs to be expanded a little bit because I don't want it, I want it to be dominant uh, in the general uh, appearance of this thing, right? So I'm going to drag it down like here. I'm going to drag it down here as well. Just expand it a little bit, just a little bit. And those can stay on what they are. And now all I need to do is actually to start changing uh, the labels and the filters because I replicated it. It's not going to be a, uh, a hard job anymore. It's just selecting stuff from a uh, drop-down list. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's a little bit yeah, harder than that. <laughs> okay, there's uh, we did it. Okay, and I'm going to continue until I'm finished, but th that basically concludes the video. Uh, that's all we need to do in order to create a compelling or useful monitoring dashboard in our OPM workspace. Okay, I'll see you in your next.